Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Hi, so here we are on the 12th October 2019 and we will review last week trades. First the swing trades, then the pending order. Let's start. So GBP odd, as you can see, the last five days, nothing, no line touch. Then Euro odd, we have one trade. So what happened during this trade? So price touch made this nice angle thing candle going down and retrace all the way. So we have a nice middle of this white candle entry. Stop loss is above and it made two reward. Since the candle is very big, maybe you just stick to take two reward. 58 and it made 113. Or you can still have it, have it run going down. So I don't count it since this one didn't make three reward yet. But it's a nice trade and it's in a winning stage. One reward and half right now. And worst case scenario, it will be break even because you should put your stop to break even right now. Odd Singapore, five days, nothing touch. Odd GPY, nothing. Odd New Zealand. On New Zealand, nothing. On CHF, on CHF we have trades, so let's check. On New Zealand we have this nice pin bar, and since this week is very big, you can enter right here, stop loss right here, and since it's a big week, you can take 2 to 3, but I think, I'm sure, actually, we have 22, and it made 100, so it made 5 reward on this one, so this is a great winning trade. Then after, right here, there is no pattern, so no trades to take on this specific level. Hot CAD, nothing touch, hot USD, nothing touch. It was a quite slow week for the swing trades. CAD CHF, nothing. CAD GPY, we have some levels that touch, so let's look what happened. So we have an arrow going down right here. So this level right here is broken, no trade. This is a hammer and uh, no trade because we take a breakout of a hammer. So no trade. After that we have a doji and no trade again. And after that we have a uh, hammer again and breakout of the hammer didn't trigger so no trade the only trade we have is right here reverse just before the level it's a long week so you could have been in a trade right here and it's running during the weekend so we don't know what will happen next and i don't count any win or any loss on this specific chart since no trading is completed chf jpy one two three four five the power was up so what do we have power this candle so this is power going up what happened is this one with a weak doji not really broken up and after we have this kind of a pin bar broken up so you could have entered a trade right here for a buy and it made two reward for t80 it's two rewards, so worst case scenario it will be break even. I don't count it, but that's another one that's run nicely in profit for now. CHF Singapore, nothing. Singapore JPY. So what do we have? Power going down on this chart, and we have this pin bar right here. So entry adds the retracement entry right here. This one is a losing trade. Then after made a pin bar in the opposite direction right here. I don't count it, but this could have been an entry since the price doesn't succeed to, to break down and went all the way down, on the way up, sorry. And on the way up, there is no pattern creating except for this specific candle. So retracement entry is right here, stop loss is right here, and we expect to take three reward on this one around here. So we have one loss only on this chart. Next, what do we have? We have gold. So gold, we have our yellow line right here, made a pin bar right here, beautiful one. And middle of this pin bar right here is your entry trigger and it made one reward for now. So no completed trade during this specific week. Silver, nothing. Silver, Euro, nothing either. Eurosec, we have a white line but didn't made a validate pattern so we don't have any trade right here. And we have a trade at the beginning of the week. So first the price break significantly the level. So uptrend. And we see this specific doji broken up on the next candle. And this one made two rewards, so it's a break-even trade. So no win, no loss, but you could have taken this one and, and made some profit around here. And breakout trade, you take 1.5 to two rewards, so this is a, this can be a win. Even if I don't count it. Euros are nothing, Euro knock, nothing. Euro Singapore, no, Euro GPY. Euro GPY touched the level exactly on Friday evening. 
and it made a dodgy, dodgy, very big dodgy, doesn't broken down, so there is no entry for this one. Euro New Zealand nothing, Euro CHF, this level, but it's not a validated railroad track, so I don't take this trade, no trade. Euro CAD nothing, Euro USD, 5 days, nothing. GBP trades now. So first let's look at GBP USD. Power up and down at the beginning of the week. And what do we have here? We have this doji, didn't really broken up and a lot of doji, same point. And after we have another doji right here. And this doji is broken up. So this would have been your entry for a buy right here and this is a winning trade. And after what do you have? You have this one but not really a pin bar because the body is bigger than the tail. And we have the same here, body bigger, as big as the tail, so no real entry. And starts to go down from there for now. So we have only one winning trade on this chart. So far, two win, one loss. GBPCHF. We have a trade at the beginning of the week. So same power up and down, eh? like in GBPUSD. This kind of good shape railroad track, even if this one is not as big as this one. And you could have entered right here, that's your first entry point. On the second is when you see this very nice pin bar, middle of the pin bar entry, stop loss to be sure right here, and this is a nice winning trade. I count only one winning trade on this. Now, GBP can uh, nothing on Friday actually, that's a trade we are in, there is a pin bar right here. But it's not yet done, so let's go to the next. So we have an arrow going up between those lines so it's a nice level to enter a trade for a buy and we have also this daily spike right here and what do we have on the 4 hour chart so we have this one not really confirmed as a pattern and that's when this one create a pin bar at the level that you have an entry point at the end of this specific candle stop loss below and this one is a nice maybe 10 reward trade helped with the Brexit news on Friday as you can see, price made a huge move and this is only due to uh, Brexit news saying that the UK will make a deal with the, EU, EU, with the EU to get out of Europe. So only one trade and it's a winning trade for this one. So far for win one loss. Now let's look at GBP New Zealand. GBP New Zealand made a very nice railroad track right here stop loss below entrance at the middle and this is an awesome trade as you can see another win for gbp for a buy and right now you have a pin bar right here entry eventually at the middle of this candle stop loss right here and the st target should be around here which in a good way but i just count this specific beautiful buying trade and it stays there for two to three days so it was a bit long to hold on it then uh, you, GBP Singapore, GBP Singapore, we have uh, not really broken down at the level, nothing really, and this power is going up very nicely, so you don't want to take so much sell except at this level, and broken up, this one made a pin bar, so you can have an entrance at the middle of this pin bar, stop loss right here, and it's not yet triggered, so no trade on this specific chart, Euro GBP. Uh, Euro GBP was tricky. We had one railroad track right here, stopped out, and after we have a doji broken down. So we have one loss and one awesome win on this chart. So far, six win, two loss, two losses. GBP try now, nothing. GBP sec, okay, GBP sec. We have two levels, but same happen. Brexit news right here, and the second Brexit news right here. So this one didn't make the real pin bar, break up, and after we have a pin bar right here. And eventually you could have an entrance, stop loss, entrance, and target right here. But didn't trigger yet, and now it's weekend, so we'll see that next week. Now GBP knock, same happen, go up, strongly powered up, no real signal right here, and the second one there is a signal at the level right here. Didn't trigger the entry already, so we need to wait next week to see what will happen. Now let's look at New Zealand. NU nothing. New Zealand CAD. The power is up on my chart, so I would not have taken this yellow line. And uh, let's see if we have a pattern. We have this one rejecting just before, so... and a second pin bar right here. You could have entered this one at the end of the candle, stop loss right here. 
and this would have been a win but since the arrow is going up and it was a very huge range right here I would not have taken this one so I don't count it New Zealand CHF nothing New Zealand GPY so what do we have first dodgy didn't break out second dodgy didn't break out uh, a pin bar right here and this one could have been counted as a loss worst case scenario and that's the only trade on NZDGPY now knock GPY a yellow dotted line means it has been touched a lot of time and it's complicated to rely on this to take a train and the power is up globally so if you look at the chart it rejects at this specific daily support which is not a very good one actually but that's where the price sit on for a while it is a whole week and it made two pin bar right here pin bar pin bar entrance at the middle stop below it and this would have been a nice trade I don't count it but I just show you what really happened and now let's look at USD pair so USD CAD uh, no trade price follows a monthly uh, strength and continue to go down USD GPY no trade no level touch USD CHF same USD Singapore uh, USD Singapore double arrow up and down but very indecise let's see what happened it didn't really touch the level so no trade USD ZAR touch the level on Friday and made a pin bar right here so here you can have an entrance at the middle at the end of this pin bar for Monday searching for retracement new candlestick pattern and you will have to buy for around this level but no trade last week you sec GPY reverse just before our level bad luck then we have USD Polonia it made the railroad track on Friday last candle so we have eventually a possibility to enter a trade for a buy at the middle of this 4 hour candle with 3 reward on Monday USD DKK nothing USD XH nothing USD HUF nothing and USD MXN nothing either made a nice pin bar on Friday but we can take that so that's it for the week so result swing trading strategy 6 win 3 loss 3 reward so it means 18 reward minus 3 loss 15 reward times 2% of your size it makes 30% profit with the swing trading strategy last week now let's check together the pending order it will be quick I think no trade no trade no trade so USD Poland we have a trade let's look in detail so we can see this yellow line is inside the envelope so I would not have taken it and I would have waited the second one and the second one the stop loss would have been 86 87 88 and it made 82 only so you are still in a trade around break even right now little profit and it's still running so I don't count it it's not yet done sec GPY not right USD ZAR USD ZAR we have the same scenario the line was a bit inside the envelope yeah so yellow line is inside the envelope so there is no trade right here USD Singapore nothing CHF GPY got no trade on USD by one trade trigger but we don't know the result yet this last five days nothing outside the envelope and the DGPY or oh, and the DGPY there might be one losing trade let's check together yeah it touched exactly here yeah and it made uh, 15 pips so one reward only so this one is a loss nothing and the DCAD outside the envelope was one two three four five last week so that's the trade from last week actually and it touched the level the stop loss would have been so right here it makes 16 pips against it the stop loss is 21 pips so 63 pips and it's a winning trade during the week our first winning trade from last Friday NZD USD didn't touch nothing now GBP so GBP there was uh, Brexit very big news on Friday and it made a big mess so let's check together so GBP knock we have this trade and this trade touch stop loss would have been 310 pips and target would have been 900 but when it made 600 you go to break even so this one is a break even actually and this one is running so we have one break even one running so no trade to count no finished this one touch also the level made 77 and the stop loss would have been 35 36 so this one is an also break even trade and the second one is running not so bad 
so far. So Euro GBP. Euro GBP we have a trade. It's a good winning trade at the beginning of the week. Right here. Tack and me check. Maybe it's a losing trade actually or a break even. I think I took profit but with little uh, little less reward when I saw this specific pin bar. So this one didn't break the stop loss and after it made 46 which is two and a half reward reward, yeah. So after that you go to break even and it made break even before reversing going down. So one break even and the second line the second line is inside outside the envelope so we we'll have one loss and eventually two loss. Two losses right here. Now let's look at GBP Singapore. GBP Singapore stop loss 40 made 75 so we have one loss here two loss here and three losses. So for your information, those are a little black swan event, a news event that impacts the currency as much as that are very rare, but they happen. And as you can see, it causes some losing trade. So let's look. So first we have this trade right here. Stop loss would have been 56 and uh, it's 51. So it's a winning trade. We have one win. This one is at the envelope, but I can count it. One win, one loss, two loss and one running. So one win, two loss, and one running might get good results next week. Then what do we have? At the envelope we have this level. No, this one. That's the one I talked about earlier. So there is no level right here. And this one is outside the envelope. So we have one loss. GBP CAD. GBP CAD actually, I think we have a win. Stop loss would have been 46 and uh, 46 times 3 no it's 150 it's running with two two reward profits so at least it will be break even if it's come back and it might make one a third reward on monday i strongly believe so gbp chf we have one winning trade right here yeah and we have one losing one loss one win now gbp usd to finish our gbp trades what do we have inside the envelope no level the trend line this one uh, tac 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 three so one loss two loss three loss thirty forty seven one two three four and this one is running yeah did trigger because you place a little bit be before the level so we have one, two, three, four, four losses four and one running. So I just count the four losses and let's look at Euro. For the GBP trade, when there is so much line very near one for the other, it's better to not take all of them, but maybe one out of two to be sure. Euro USD, no trade. Euro CAD, no trade. Euro chf no trade there is one trade actually sorry outside the envelope this one and it's a losing trade one more euro new zealand euro gpy didn't touch bad luck for us euro hong kong nothing nothing and the euro sec inside the envelope so no trade so exact euro nothing exact usd nothing what about gold gold was at the envelope so it's a good trade actually it's a good trade 61 stop loss would have been 7710 so it's not and it's make one reward it's running for next week so i don't count any win any loss right here singapore jpy singapore jpy is a losing trade chf singapore chf jpy no trade so I missed for a bit this one was inside the envelope Cat CHF, no trade, and let's finish by Australian dollar. Odd USD, no trade. Odd CAD, no trade. Odd CHF. Odd CHF, we have one trade at the envelope, and this this is a winning trade. Odd New Zealand, no trade. Odd GPY, no trade. Odd Singapore, no. And GBP odd, no. So, total account, we have four win on the pending order and 6, 12, 12, 16, 16 losses. So it means there is 4 win times 3, which make it 12 reward, minus 16. We are minus 
four risk, which make it minus eight percent. I think that's the first week we are in minus, and it's it is because of the Black Swan event of the Brexit on Thursday and Friday. So overall, you have thirty percent profit with the swing trading strategy, and you have minus eight for the pending order, which make it uh, tac tac twenty two percent profit for the week. All in all, which is still still great, you still make profit. So, if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me on Telegram or Facebook, and see you next week. This is the end of the lesson. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alert and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market. It's a true ECN low spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.